Justina, thanks very much for joining us. There's been a big focus on, on ESG, obviously with COP26. Justina, what's your sense of that, particularly looking at the CE markets? Is this an area where CE markets are playing catch up? What, what's your overall perspective, particularly looking at Poland? Well, we for sure need to differentiate between the, uh, let's say, governmental level and real estate uh, market, commercial real estate market level. At the governmental level, this is quite a lot of politics um, in it. Well, this is definitely not uh, like the uh, priority in the public debates uh, we are we are uh, seeing in Poland, at least. Uh, this will probably change uh, with the time. Uh, but I think from our perspective, what is the most in interesting is the real estate market segment, where we are definitely seeing a huge awareness of all the market players um of the uh well of the esg let's say direction uh, so first of all the developers are uh, are totally aware that they need to uh, deliver uh, to the market uh, as an investment product a sustainable product um because this is this is number one uh, among the uh, demand uh, on the investor side the investors again they are very often uh, large institutional investors so uh, they are also expected to have in their strategies policies uh, a very strong uh, ESG footprint let's say uh, so of course they will look for a product which meets uh, such criteria in CEE in general I think the renovation problematic is not uh, uh, it's not as important as in the uh, Western uh, European countries. It's just due to the fact that our um, uh, market stock is relatively young. Uh, of course, the vendors, the investors, uh, they are fully aware that they need to keep this stock up to the current uh, expectations, current uh, requirements in terms of energy efficiency and so on, and that they are uh, they are undertaking relevant steps, but these are mostly like, you know, uh, CAPEX programs rather than really huge renovation programs. Great. Really interesting to get your perspective on that ESG topic there. Um, Justina, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much, Richard.